Hi guys, this is your sister Karen. Look, I'm not even looking at the camera. Hi guys, this is your sister Karen in Jesus Christ. Right, brothers and sisters, before going further, those of you, you know what I'm going to say, so you can skip, all right? But this is for the brand new brothers and sisters who have joined this channel. There are wicked, dirty, dirty, demonic, vulture, scammers in the comment section pretending to be me. They use my name, my profile picture, begging for money, giving fake prophecy. It is not me. Whenever I make a comment, brothers and sisters, my name, Sister Karen, it is in solid gray border. That's one thing the dirty scammers cannot have because they're fake and it's not their channel. All right. Um, so whenever I make a comment, Sister Karen, it is in solid gray border. All right. And some of you are saying, oh, Sister Karen, you're always cursing off the scammers. Brothers and sisters, these people are very, very wicked and there's not enough name. They're dirty. They're vultures. They're demonic. They're everything evil. Because there's absolutely, it's like somebody coming in your house, invading your home. And my YouTube channel, I treat it as my home, brothers and sisters. So obviously, you know, people doing stuff, you're going to feel away. So I have to rebuke them with the strongest rebuke, all right? All right, brothers and sisters, right to you. So I had another powerful vision, brothers and sisters. I'm telling you, the Lord is really warning concerning the three days of darkness because People are just not, well, some people are just not listening. But I had this vision on the 8th of, uh, 8th of May, 2021. 8th of May, 2021. I'm wondering if this is my, is this my first vision since May starts? I can't remember. It probably is. New month. Yes, I, th I think it is. I think if I'm not, if, if if I'm mistaken, please forgive me. But recalling off my head, I think what I'm gonna share with you concerning the darkness is the first vision since May begun. Pretty sure. Can't see if, if I had any other visions. But anyway, the Lord is God. He's amazing. Okay, brothers and sisters, I want to share this very powerful vision that the Lord gave me concerning the three days of darkness and the northern lights. All right, those pretty, pretty lights in the northern hemisphere. Powerful vision. So let me get straight into the vision, brothers and sisters. In this vision, I was, it was like, and I was in England. I was in the United Kingdom, okay? And, um, but I, I don't know, I can't remember... It looks like my home, but it doesn't look like my home, if you know what I mean. But anyways, brothers and sisters, it was about, I would say, 3, 4 o'clock in the, in the evening, evening UK time. And the sun was out and everything. And then all of a sudden, brothers and sisters, it's like the sun gave way. And when I, when I say that the sun gave way, it was like, the sun went, but it wasn't dark, okay? And the reason why it wasn't dark at the time when the sun went is because the northern lights appeared just out of the blues and they were dancing, you know, like moving around. But the, 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 the prominent color of the northern lights that I saw was green. There were other colors there, but green. The green color was a prominent color and it was like it was touching the earth. It wasn't really touching it, but the way of it, the formation of it, it was like it was touching the earth. And everybody came out of the houses and they began to just, you know, look into awe. Because yes, it was pretty, you know, these lights were beautiful. And, and that's why... That's why I said the sun, because it was, like I said, it was about three, four o'clock, the sun was shining, but then the, the northern lights just came through, you know? And so the sunshine wasn't as bright, okay? It wasn't darkness, it wasn't three days of darkness or anything like that, but the sun kind of gave way for the light so you could see these beautiful, you know, even though they're, they're, they're a signal for something else, but you could see these northern lights, um in the in the day 
bright right right into the brothers and sisters and i remember everybody was just in awe because people were saying to themselves well these lights don't come to england like you never get well that not that i know of okay um i've never seen the northern lights um in england before never I don't know if, if it came here before, but me personally, I haven't heard about it. I haven't seen it. So everybody was, it was in shock to say, to see the Northern Light. But in my spirit, the Lord was saying that what you're seeing is not only in England, it was all over the world. This was all, or oh, everybody, everybody was seeing this at the same time, brothers and sisters. These dancing, I call them dancing because they were just moving around. I don't know. They had some movement to it. It wasn't still. Um, lights going. Then I heard somebody in the crowd. Okay. While everybody was looking. The person began to run around. Going to everybody. Like it was, it was a man. Where it was tapping everybody and saying. The three days of darkness is coming. The three days of darkness is coming. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Go into your houses. That's what the guy was saying. You know? And it wasn't getting dark or anything. The darkness wasn't falling or anything like that. But he was just saying that the darkness is coming. Prepare yourself. Get into your houses. And everybody, some people began to move and go into their houses. Others was just absorbed with the northern lights. You know, these beautiful lights coming through. But... When the guy began to say, you know, the darkness is coming, the three days of darkness is coming, in the vision, brothers and sisters, in the vision, it's like, it felt so real and so true. So in the vision, everything just kept, everything came rushing back to me in terms of all the visions and dreams that I've given concerning the, the, the three days of darkness. You know, get your candles ready. Cover up your windows if you can. Make sure you have your waters and all that water and your non-perishable food in. And all of that came rushing, coming rushing through. And I remember I was started. I started to search my bedroom because I've got some black bags and candles and stuff. <laughs> I've got them hid away, you know. And I know where I do know where to find it. But in the vision, I was searching for them, you know, to just gather them together because although the darkness wasn't falling. It was just the northern lights outside. But the guy, he just kept on warning. He was running to and fro to everybody. You know, touching them. The three days of light, just sounding the alarm. He's sounding the alarm. And he was saying, the three days of darkness is coming. The three days of darkness is coming. And I remember he was also saying, you see those lights? You see those lights? Those are signals. To let you know that the darkness is coming. That's what he was saying. But the good thing about your brothers and sisters in the vision. I know some people didn't budge. You know because they were just absorbed with the light. But some people they really ran in the houses. Because the way how this guy was. Could have been an angel. Really and truly. He didn't have felt like an angel. Because normally when it's an angel. You know, we just feel like a normal brother. Who knew about the darkness that was warning. That's how it felt. Like it's like it's a brother. Um, like I said, who knows about the darkness that was warning. And um, and so some people began to just move straight away. Just got begun to move, run into their houses, and others stay with the cameras, taking you know pictures of the northern lights and everything like that. But I've given, and then the vision, the vision ended. But brothers and sisters, I've, I've given, I've done videos before concerning the Northern Lights and the Three Days of Darkness because I know that other watchmen and watch women on the wall for the Lord talks about the, the Northern Lights or the, what they call it, the horrors the horrors or something like that okay i call them the northern lights because it's just easy for me to pronounce <laughs> um so i know some brothers and sisters who prophesy about the three days of darkness 
do talk about the, the northern lights, that there's going to be some form of light formation, pretty, pretty lights coming into our atmosphere, coming into places where it's never been before. Like I said, I was in the UK when these lights began to appear, three, four o'clock in the afternoon, three, four, five or something like that, no more than that. So it's between the three and five o'clock when this thing began to happen and everybody was seeing it. But I know other brothers and sisters does do warn that there's going to be some form of northern light before the three days of darkness. And this vision is a confirmation because it was so vivid. It was so plain, brothers and sisters. And the fact of the matter is when I was in the vision, I didn't know that it was the darkness that was coming. I just thought that, oh, the northern lights have reached the UK. That 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 was all in that was all that was in my spirit. There was no sense of three days of darkness, nothing like that. It's only when the brother began to run around to the people and said, The three days of darkness is coming. Get into your houses. It is coming. The three days of darkness is coming. The light is a uh it's the the light is like I said, the light um is a foreshadowing to war, to say the darkness. That the Most High Yah is sending the darkness and it's on its way. But it is true. It is true, brothers and sisters. I believe from this vision, I truly believe, not that, not that I did doubt before, but this just solidify, just solidify. I do believe that according to this vision that I'm telling you, that there's going to be some form of northern light phenomenon before the darkness you might say oh well sister Carrion, when the lights come when is the darkness coming i don't know i have no idea all right i don't know if it's going to be straight away i don't know if it's going to be two days after three days a week a month i don't know brothers and sisters because in the vision remember it wasn't clear the guy the brother was just saying get into your houses the darkness is coming but we don't know if it's coming like you know there was no time on it but we're preparing the people pointing them to the light to say the light is a signal of the darkness that is coming so you know in your neck of the woods if the whole entire world because it has to be the whole world it's not just going to be the northern lights in the northern hemisphere no it's going to be all over the world i know that in the caribbean we have never seen the northern lights so when you know that the Caribbean people are saying, oh, pretty, pretty light in the sky, you know that something is up because the northern lights don't reach that far. So when the whole entire world sees this, please prepare yourself. And this is a warning. And the fact that the color is green because the northern lights, they've got different colors, but this, it was so prominent. In the vision brothers and sisters this green light very very green light it was the most prominent there were other colors there but it wasn't revealed in the in the vision it was just a green and it was kind of moving i said dancing just a little bit you know wavy sort of thing like really really strange just was waving around um so i give god i give god thanks i give you thanks because the clues are coming now, some people said, oh, there's going to be a massive earthquake before the darkness. I don't know. I can't comment on that because the Lord has not really, well, I shouldn't have said the Lord doesn't show because I had a vision actually where the earthquake came, sky changed color, and then the darkness fell. So, yeah, all these things, brothers and sisters, that the watchmen and the wall are talking about, they're not lies. I know it's very hard for some people to believe that, that the, the three days of darkness is, is a real event. But it, it is real. It is, and, you, you know, when I warn about the three days of darkness, it, I, I always go back. I always go back to the United States of America election with Donald Trump and Joe Biden. When everybody was saying Trump is going to win, Trump is going to win. And the Lord said, no, Biden is going to win. And I gave that prophecy and it came to pass. It, fe it feels the same way. Because, you know, sometimes you say, no, the three days of darkness is coming. And people are like, nah, we don't believe you. 
the Lord will never ever darken the earth like that. Well, you had enough warnings. It is coming. I, I can 150 million percent tell you without a shadow of a doubt. I have no doubt in my mind. I don't think, oh, well, may no. This thing is coming. This is coming and you have to prepare yourself. So the fact that the Lord has shown me the northern line, this plane, I've seen it before, but not this plane in a vision like that. This is very, very plain. And so the Lord is saying from this vision that he will send the northern lights all over the world. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your mercies. So when you see the whole earth or, well, the whole world with the northern lights, you know that the darkness is coming. You have no excuse then. You have no, for those of you who watch this channel. For those of you who watch, obviously not everybody in the world watched this channel, which they did, but not everybody, but for those of you who watch the channel, this channel, you know you've got the warnings. So this is a very, very big, um, what's the word? A massive clue to the coming darkness, a massive clue, brothers and sisters, and I give God that he's still merciful. In all our wicked ways, yeah, yeah. Oh, our Savior is still merciful, brothers and sisters. So I, I wanted to come and release this powerful vision concerning the Northern Lights, that the whole entire world will see the Northern Lights. And then after that, I don't know when. So don't come and ask me, Sister Karen, when I have no idea. But I know after the world sees the light, at, at the same time, the darkness will fall at some point. We know to prepare for the three days of darkness. Okay, brothers and sisters. Right, so be bold, be strong, be courageous. Hold on one second. Walk with Yah, just like Enoch. All praises, all beautiful praises to the Most High Yah, who lives above the heavens. Yah eternally bless you. I love you all and I will see you soon, someday in glory, in Jesus Christ's precious holy name. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen. And let us say the benediction together. This is Jude chapter 1. That's Jude chapter 1 verses 24 to 25. I wait for you to get your Bibles. I just wait a couple of seconds, brothers and sisters. For you to get your Bibles and then we're going to say the, the benediction together. All right. We're ready. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Lord. All right. So. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and forevermore. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.